In the musical Evita, Eva Peron sings Don't Cry For Me, Argentina. Well, you will be crying tears of joy when you see the haunting beauty of the tango and all the amazing shopping we have for you on this episode of Ms. World Traveler in Buenos Aires. Hi friends, I'm Ms. World Traveler Carrie Damiano, inviting you on an adventure to discover style, design, fashion, art, and antiques in great shopping destinations across the country and around the world. Come with me. Founded by a Spanish gold-seeking expedition in 1536, Buenos Aires, which means fair winds, is the capital and largest city in Argentina and home to the busiest port in South America. Fortunately, after an economic crisis in 2001 caused the peso to plummet, Argentina has fully recovered and business is booming. Because the cost of goods has remained lower than in other major European and US cities, Foreign tourists are drawn to Buenos Aires, and one of the first places they go is San Telmo. Despite its humble beginnings in the 17th century, the oldest barrio, San Telmo, is a living museum of well-preserved colonial buildings, tree-lined streets, and a central plaza for gathering. The busiest market in Buenos Aires is held here on Sundays, where 270 vendors, many of whom have had their stands in the same place since its inception in 1971, hawk antiques, costume jewelry, copper pots, and everything in between. Another reason people flock to San Telmo is to see the tango performed by some of Argentina's finest dancers right on the street. With roots dating back to the 1880s, the tango is totally improvised with no bass steps so that the performers can just interpret the music with their movements. Declared part of the intangible cultural heritage of humanity by UNESCO in 2009, it is a thing of beauty to behold. A third reason, as if you need another, is the concentration of antique stores. Some are cramped and dusty, and some are quite elegant, but either way, you will find a wide range of prices and choices. While we were here, we looked through the market and watched the tango, but there are also many other lovely antique stores and family-owned shops to explore, like La Vaquita. Everyone in Claudio's family has a talent to contribute to his store, giving it a broad array of beautiful products to wear and to decorate your home. So Claudio, how did you come up with the name La Vaquita? And the name is the um, star with my parents. The, the name the Vaquita is reference to the small cow. A small cow. A small cow. That, that doesn't mean you, right? You're not the small cow. Uh, yes, o sea, yes uh, a little bit. <laughs> yes, it's a cow uh, baby. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and now that you're old, you still get called the small cow? Uh, yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so 
this is a family business. Yes. 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 And it started with your parents. Yes. And what, what uh, products did they start with? Uh, for example, my parents, my mom, my father start with um, 40 years ago with the 40 business. 40 yes. years. I make the different uh, things in leather. Uh-huh. So they started with leather, yes. and so you make the um, cow hides into carpets, yes. right? For That's... example, my father uh, designed the different carpets and different sizes, uh -huh. different designs. Well, this is really beautiful. So is this like all from one hide or all different hides uh, that you get all the variations of colors? Uh, we are make um, different uh, hides. Okay, different we hides. Make different, yes. And see like here, all different shades this is really beautiful. Do you do the sewing? Uh, yes, yes. Really? Um, Yes, my father, my brother. Uh huh. Well, leather is a very important industry. Yes. In Argentina yes, and in Buenos Aires. Yes, it's very popular the leather and the um, finish, the leather and the quality. Mm, so it's qual it's quality and a lot of it, right? You're you're a beef, one of the world's beef biggest beef producers. So yes. you have lots of cowhide leather. Uh, shackles and shoes, yes, and different things. Different. Yes, but sheep also, right? You have uh, you have a lot of sheep, raised uh, yes, sheep here yes, for the wool. Yes, for example, on the sheep, I make the different things. For example, carpet and cushions uh -huh. and the balloons. Like these? Yes. This, really, really this is like the most um, Argentinian thing I've ever seen. It's made out of local. Um, yes. Sheep wool, it's wool, and it's for football. Yes, right. Yes, for the socks, <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, it's not, no, it's not you're not going to ask me to you know, do one of these things, right? <laughs> so, what about the belts? Uh, do you make the belts the as well? Belt with my father, yes, I put the leather in different size. For a smaller size or standard size. And so what, what is this? Is the um, not remember the name. The, so it looks like cotton. Yes. Yes. It's all hardman. Ah, wow, it's beautiful. Very nicely done. Now For there's example, ones that are my colors. They are make in different combination the colors. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. That makes a nice gift to get home. It's, uh, I think, probably a little harder for people to imagine trying to get home. Yes. A big fluffy carpet. Uh, <laughs> right? Depend the people. Is the smaller size or big bigger size? Well, is big is, al yes. is always better. Big is always better. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> So we were out in the courtyard looking at some of your things out there and now we've come into your shop and one of the things that I really liked when I first came in yeah. were these beautiful clocks uh, that you have that, that, that hang on the wall but they almost look like a watch. Some of them sort of in the shape looks yes. looks like a watch. It's for the um, uh, wall. It's, it's, for, the, for, it's the wall. for the wall. It's for the wall. And you make these, you cut out the shapes? Yes, my father... Um, they are uh, cut in different uh, sizes and different designs. Uh -huh. It's all uh, handmade. Well, and some of them, this almost looks like a saddlebag. Yes. It, yeah? Yes. And it, this this is one that looks like a watch. This kind of to uh, me. design is the similar, um, the name in gaucho is uh, rastra. It's very ah, popular okay. in the country. Okay. This design. So it's, it's very gaucho inspired. Yes. It's their symbol. The it's, their, it's their yes. symbol. Yes. Well, and then this is some of your work, but your mother also does yes. a lot of the work. So she makes My these uh, beautiful makes, um, uh, yes. wraps, yes. scarves. Yes. Uh, she makes uh, all her handmade. Oh, handmade. <laughs> now, are they on the loom? Is she doing it on the weaving loom, or is it by no, knitting, crocheting? No, no, on she, the loom. She makes yes. it on the yes. loom. Yes. Wow. Combination, this 
different colors the world, mm -hmm. I make different things. What do we think? <laughs> this should be something for me. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, your mother is part of the business. Yes. Uh, and you said your brother also is part of the business. Yes. Because he makes the cow, he works with the cow the hides carpet, yes. and the carpets. Okay. Yeah. And for dyeing, you, you dye some of the cow hides, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. I think we should look at those. So the reason I wanted to talk about these, yes. I have seen them lots of places and I see lots of different colors and different styles, uh, but there's an art yeah, for to example, making and these. The cow utilization, uh, the cow uh, colors natural and the stamp in different, for example, zebra, leopardo. Uh, okay, so these are stamped. Yes. You, they're stamped yes. dye on it, yes. okay? And different uh, design. Mm -hmm. So, like, what is this? For example, it's a uh, utilization the acid uh, wash. It's a wash. It's wash. an acid yes. wash, and that changes this area. This stays natural, yes. and this changes. Yes. Okay, and then some of these metallics. How do you get the metallic? In the metallic, like the similar process on the acid wash, and the put the paper plate and gold and the stamp. Oh, okay. And so finish. you have acid wash first. Yes. And then you have the you add the gold, the metallic. Yes. Afterwards. And plate. On the plate. That's beautiful. And then my favorite are the colored ones. The color favorite. So I, I think I should have a coat or something made out of this. Or I should have it in my house where I get to walk on it all the time. How do you do this? For then? example, it's a design utilization the um, color black and white is the popularity. Uh, okay. The name is Orlando, Orlando Argentino. Okay. And uh, painting in different uh, colors. All right, so you leave the black. Yes. And you just paint the white uh, areas. Uh, painting only the part uh, white. And the black, no. The black, no. The black, okay. No. The black is saying uh, black. Okay. Same. So, do you do it with a brush? With a brush, you paint this? Uh, no, with a um, uh, big uh, machine. So, uh, with a big machine. Uh, the machine. Okay. Machine. Well, it's beautiful. And again, we see these lots of places. We see, you know, carpet. So, there's lots of choices. You can have um, it, really whatever you want, right? For, um, it's a use for the carpet. Mm -hmm. the, you use these for the carpets? Yes. Too. yes. Oh, it depends the people and put the on the wall. Mm -hmm. on, oh, that's on, a great idea, yes. right? Then you don't walk on it. Uh, yeah. On the wall or on the bed, on the sofa. On the bed, on the sofa. Yes. One for each. I have one on my wall, I have one on my sofa, uh, for, one on uh, my floor. Carpet, uh, on the floor. <laughs> on the floor. <laughs> Cow hides, sheepskin, wool, silk, and leather. You can find it all at La Vaquita, handmade by Claudio and his family. Now don't go away, we have another exciting neighborhood to explore and an Argentine tradition of drinking tea to discover on the next segment of Ms. World Traveler in Buenos Aires. Stay tuned. <laughs>